I'm Matt Bichard with NairReachReit.com. I'm here at the New York Hilton for REIT Week 2017, NairReach Investor Forum. Joining me today is John Kilroy, the Chairman, President, and CEO of Kilroy Realty Trust. John, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here, Matthew. Now, it looks as though your company's focused a lot of its energy recently on leasing your portfolio. How do you feel those efforts are turning out? Oh, I think it's been great. I mean, the markets have come our way as well. Seattle, San Francisco are both in line to do record years of leasing. Uh, and that's on top of five or six very strong years. And we've been able to participate in that. Our leasing's going great. Our leasing and development's going very well. We just signed a big deal with Adobe for several hundred thousand feet in San Francisco. Uh, we're on the verge of a number of other major transactions throughout the portfolio, so I'm really pleased. Now, when you look at Kilroy's primary markets on the West Coast, uh, what markets are sort of at the, the high end and at the low end of where you see the best opportunities? Well, it's hard to, uh, to ignore Seattle as the best. I mean, it really has been a stellar uh, performer. Uh, there were 4 million square feet of spec space 18 months ago in South Lake Union. It's all leased. In addition, Google has taken 900,000 square feet on a build-a-suit. Facebook, another 420,000 square feet on a build-a-suit. We're about ready to start a 650,000 square foot building there in a market that's 1%, 1.5% vacant. Over at Bellevue on the east side of Seattle, there was a million and a half square feet in three projects that was started 18 months ago. Spec, essentially all gone. Uh, I think there's something like seven or eight or nine users in Bellevue looking for over 100,000 feet each. It's just been an absolutely terrific market. And you asked what might be the weakest. Uh, San Francisco is very strong. LA, Hollywood has been an extremely strong market for us, as has West LA. Uh, San Diego on the office side has probably been uh, the laggard, although we're seeing positive absorption for almost every quarter for the last 20 or so. It just that hasn't had the big bombers come in, uh, and yet the residential and the retail uh, in uh, San Diego is, is done very well, at least in, in our activities. So all of our markets are, are good and improving. Some are just absolutely beyond belief, and that would be Seattle and San Francisco. Now, you've personally been involved in the real estate business since the 1960s. If, if I was able to travel back in time 40, 50 years and talk to a younger you and told you where this market was going to go, where the read industry was going to go, where the retail business was going to go, or the office markets, what would be the biggest shock? Well, I, I think the thing that I'm most pleased with is when I was a kid doing all this stuff, I would try to talk to the aerospace companies and say, look, I could save you a lot of money in the way you do tenant improvements. I can create much more energetic space that'll really motivate your people. They had no interest in it. You know, it, 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 they just had no interest. And what's happened now is we're not really, we don't really talk about office space. We talk about creating workplace environments that are vibrant, that have, have a mixture of art and uh, community involvement and amenities uh, and then, of course, all the, the bells and whistles. And it's far more about how uh, workplace environments can attract and retain uh, your most important asset, which is your people. And so it's come exactly the way what I tried to, you know, to market 40 years ago. And so that's probably been the, the biggest surprise. I'm very happy that it has because it adds an element of humanity to the workplace environment instead of these big tall buildings, which is essentially a manifestation of some CEO talking about the power of a company. It's now talking about the power of the workforce and about the importance of the workforce. Um, the other thing, I guess, is that in terms of just the towns, Seattle was a pretty sleepy town 40 years ago, and it's now really become a powerhouse unto itself. It's very vibrant, really young workforce, very outdoorsy, very, very uh, much uh, community oriented, very much in about sustainability. Uh, and so I think that's been a, just a terrific surprise and a really great thing for us to be involved in. Great. John, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, okay, Matthew, good to see you. For more from REIT Week 2017, be sure to visit REIT.com.